Good afternoon to you. Mark Sutter with HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Outlook and Discussion. Happy Friday, the 15th of June, 2018. Hope your Friday afternoon is doing okay. Mine is because I think I'm all the way healthy now. 99% will call it. So summertime cold, be gone with you. All right, let's jump in and see what's happening with the tropics. We have one yellow X that was down here and it disappeared. Uh, remember, it was like over here somewhere. And now we have this one that has popped up today. Where'd that come from? Well, let's check it out. 10% chance of development. As the National Hurricane Center mentions, a large and disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms associated with a surface trough. While significant development of this system is not anticipated, heavy rain and strong gusty winds are occurring across the Yucatan Peninsula today. So not a fun day along some of the resort areas, I'm sorry. Um, and that will overspread the central Gulf of Mexico on Saturday and reach portions of the Texas and southwestern Louisiana coast by Sunday. So you folks up in this region, get ready for some inclement weather as this heads your way over time. This little surface trough, a little weak area of elongated low pressure down at the surface. Um, not a closed low, not a tropical wave just a convergence zone where the air is trying to come together at the surface. Uh, maybe the pressures are just a little bit lower there. It's, I'm trying to describe what exactly a surface trough is. And you can actually see it on the vorticity signature here. And let's use the color white to make it stand. I'll use black. Right in here. Um, it's got a fairly rounded appearance to said surface trough, I must admit. So that's enough energy and it's small enough I'm not going to be surprised and I got a Facebook message about this from somebody on Galveston and you know who you are if you're watching and I think you might be right uh, this might develop into something very quickly right before landfall is it going to be a big deal in terms of you know a hurricane or anything like that no so don't get me wrong but Remember Umberto back in 2007? It didn't look like much, and it was coming up, and then bam, it intensified real quick in the last 6 to 12 hours before moving inland near High Island, Texas. Do I think this could do that? You know, with the weather, it's really hard to know for sure. You know, and sometimes we've got to be honest about these things, that these smaller systems kind of get lost in the cracks of the model guidance. Whereas your large heat sources of these tropical waves that come off Africa as part of the overall larger pattern are a little easier to figure out, these systems can be a lot more tough. So today, Yucatan, tomorrow through the weekend, you know, Central Gulf here, and then eventually parts of Louisiana and the Texas coast with a lot of rainfall coming your way at the very least and probably some kind of tropical effects, stronger winds, coastal issues, maybe a slight piling up of the water, and maybe a little bit more. We're going to have to really watch this closely, and I certainly will do that uh, over the weekend, you can bet. And then, of course, we have the remnants of Bud over here along the Baja and some of that energy getting pulled into and across Sonora and then up through New Mexico and Colorado and beyond. Uh, some of that energy, believe it or not, getting extracted out, feeding into this frontal system as this trough carves out on the west. Very interesting how the tropics can interact with the desert southwest. So here's the system in the Gulf of Mexico, part of it anyway, and then down here, of course, along the Yucatan. Very heavy rainfall here for Cozumel, Cancun, and vicinity. It's got that look to it overall. It's not very well organized, but you know there is some upper level uh, outflow happening over here. You're not seeing upper level winds just tear this apart like you've seen some systems. You know the bubbling up nature of this gives me pause that maybe something will happen out of this as it traverses that water between the Yucatan and the Gulf Coast. So you folks up here along the Louisiana and Texas coastlines, just, you know, be careful, especially mariners, if you're going to be heading out into the offshore waters 
any of these thunderstorms, regardless of whether or not this develops into a closed, low-level circulation, these thunderstorms, especially these big ones down here, if that starts to percolate in your area, that could be problematic. So, I mean, look here, right along the northern Gulf Coast, thunderstorms blossoming, and then watch these big outflow boundaries that get pushed out. Yeah, I mean, that's racing out into the Gulf. If you're in a small craft, that could uh, cause some problems. So let's watch this carefully and see what happens over the next couple of days. The shot of the lower 48, there is, we have the remnants of bud and some of that moisture getting pulled up into Arizona and parts of New Mexico, a few lightning strikes associated with it as well. At least the temperatures will come down a few degrees across that region. And then here is where we're going to have to really watch over the next couple of days. Very interesting. I'll have to dig and see what some of the experts are saying about it. And certainly we'll discuss that in more detail tomorrow. This kind of, I don't want to say it came out of nowhere, but I wasn't expecting this to look this healthy, so to speak. But don't get me wrong, it's not like we're going to see some rapid intensification and something crazy happen. Uh, you hope not. Remember, we never say never, but the odds are at least against that. <coughs> so here, one more cough, is what the GFS shows. And it's interesting, there's the feature right there. Let me just start over, and I'm just going to mouse through these, if it'll let me. It will. So here is the vorticity signature that we're watching. All right? So let's just move through this. You notice it has a little bit of an increase there as we go through the day Saturday. Still has that surface trough look to it overall. Not closed off, and it's not very well defined in the vorticity field, but worth watching for sure. Uh, that's just small enough as it approaches the lower to central Texas coast and some of this onshore banding, who knows, I mean, you may get some serious rains in this area. This will be really interesting to watch, let's just say that by Sunday afternoon and evening, you never know. So let's watch this closely, follow those who know on social media, especially in Texas, you know the usual folks that you can depend on, and I will certainly be tweeting about it from time to time, and we'll see what happens. Let's bring me back just for a moment, if it'll let me. Maybe it doesn't want to see me. So don't get too worried about it, except if you're headed out into the Gulf this weekend, especially in a small craft, motorboat, sailboat, what have you. Thunderstorms with gusty outflow winds, that could be problematic. Lightning, of course. And the sheer presence of the system that it's there, and it's a bigger weather event than you are in your boat, you just need to be very mindful of that, all right? And the rest, we'll just see what happens. I do... It has definitely piqued my interest a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about it in terms of significant impacts. Nevertheless, for Harvey weary residents in Texas, the rainfall will be a little bit nerve-wracking because it's going to be heavy at times. So if you can, just stay home when the heavy rain is happening. Just kind of stay put and let the drainage systems and the flood control district in the Houston area in particular do its thing several inches of rain an hour for a short duration can be handled high water will then drain away long duration heavy rain like we saw with Harvey and this is not setting up anything like that is the bigger problem and we don't see that happening here all right so I try to bring some good news into this yes you're gonna get some inclement weather no it's not gonna be anything like a repeat of Harvey and I know nerves are certainly on edge and very exposed, so to speak, in the Harvey Weary area. All right? You have my sympathies. You really do. I was there for it. I saw it with my own eyes. So I'm with you. All right. Well, that's all I've got for today. We'll certainly keep an eye on this. I'll be back tomorrow, probably before noon, to see what the morning models showed and the overnight models showed, etc. And we'll see how this thing evolves. Until then, and through then, have a great rest of your Friday, and I'll be back tomorrow. I'm Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the morning.